days from when I was married to my husband, Akamatsu, two years ago. <laughs> hmm? Hey, Yuri, there's no more soy sauce. Oh, that's right, we ran out. Sorry, I forgot to buy some today. What? Don't let stuff we need on the dinner table run out. You don't usually forget. Sorry. Half the time, you're too clumsy and forgetful. Being airheaded is only cute when you're a teenager. Oh, here we go again. This is something I realized soon after marriage, but if I fail to do something, my husband blames me harshly for it. Why are you such an idiot? No, it's more like he's making fun of me instead. And didn't you trip over nothing on the street just the other day? You really are stupid. Why does he go that far? Over me forgetting to buy soy sauce. I'm not the only one he makes a fool of. Anyone who is a lower rank than him, he looks down on. Ah, by the way, we got an invitation to Tokusa's wedding yesterday, right? Yeah, he was your friend in college, wasn't he? Yeah, some other friends of mine are going, so I was thinking of stopping by myself. I gave Katsura a call yesterday. Ah, Katsura's son is your classmate from high school, right? And the one who works dispatch and has two kids. Yeah, that's him. Wow, you got a good memory. I was able to become full-time even when it was hard to find jobs, though. His communication skills are too low, so he ended up doing dispatch. <laughs> and then he went and had two kids. What an idiot. <laughs> That's because you worked into him for no reason. So yeah, he's still working at a dispatch company, so I was a bit worried about him. But then... What? You quit your job? Yep, things got pretty busy and I couldn't get housework done. So I asked to leave. Actually, I... Hey, hey, why are you so okay with this? Your power alone isn't enough. Make sure you make your wife work, too. Well, we're pretty comfortable financially. She even started taking some lessons. Uh, no job, but she's taking lessons. Are you giving her an allowance? Um, well... How much are you giving her? Just tell me already! Um... About... A thousand dollars a month? What? A grand? So yeah, so I went on about a 20-minute rant about how dumb he was. His wife has no job, but he gives her a grand a month? I couldn't believe it. Outward appearance aside, there are only losses if you marry someone who's greedy and ugly on the inside. He said so. <sighs> For a husband to save up and be able to give his wife a grand a month, I just think it's amazing. But can a dispatch worker earn that much? I heard some can earn more overtime pay than full-time workers, but... Oh. That idol's in another commercial. Jeez, she's hella ugly. Why does she keep showing up on TV? She's definitely sleeping her way to the top. <laughs> He's focused on bad mouthing again today. He was like that in the past, but... But for him to go this far... At that time, I was gradually getting depressed for being around my husband. He looked down on people and tried to lecture them. And every time he opened his mouth, it was to make fun of someone. Slowly, their relationship was falling apart. This guy's ugly! But several months later, at Tokusa-san's wedding, an event happened that put the nail in the coffin. Congrats! Congrats! So, this is Katsura's son and his wife, Misuria san Katsura's son is good-looking himself, but wow, his wife sure is stunning! And on top of that, Katsura san's suit and Misuria san's kimono! They look really expensive! They have in good taste. They seem really nice. I can't believe Akamatsu couldn't make fun of them. Hello? Hello. The ceremony was finished and everyone moved to the reception. Wow, that was a great ceremony. It really was. But that Tokusa, he sure married a plain looking woman. He should have looked a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying things like that! Huh? I can't believe this is happening at a wedding! Well now, Suzuji-san is charming, cute, and a great person. <gasps> She's right! Don't you think they're perfect for each other? Uh, and Akamatsu, you should refrain from saying those kinds of things at someone's celebration. What the heck? Why do I have to get lectured by this jerk? What a nobody! And you, you married a hideous woman too! <laughs> <gasps> hey, what are you saying, Akamatsu-kun? A housewife? She's just a woman with no job that's eating up your money. You should divorce a woman who demands 1k a month. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. If I wasn't there for you in high school, you wouldn't have been able to do anything. If you would have just talked with me before getting married, you wouldn't have been hitched to your money-grubbing wife. You really are stupid. Akamatsu-kun! Jeez, cut it out! Huh? Why are you saying all of these foul things we're here to celebrate? What are you 
you saying, Yuri? I'm only telling the truth. Katsura! Akamatsu! What's wrong? Did something happen? Tokusa! Tokusa-san, sorry we're causing such a ruckus. We're causing a scene, so please allow us to be excused. What? What did you just say? Tokusa-kun, who are these people? It's my friend from college and his wife, and a classmate of Katsura's. Ah, he's a classmate of the doctor, I see. Huh? Huh? Doctor? The heck? Katsura? You know Tokusa's wife? Yep. She's a nurse. A nurse? Why does a nurse know a dispatch worker like you? Actually, Akamatsu, I quit my dispatch job years ago. And now I work as a doctor at the university hospital. Uh, he, he's a doctor? Yes. He studied while doing dispatch work and got his license. What? A doctor? No way. A dropout like you? Huh? Akamatsu? You didn't know that Katsura became a doctor? Uh. Ah. When I called him before, I thought about telling him, but... Before he could say he changed jobs, that man started lecturing him and he couldn't get it out. <laughs> he let me in on the conversation. He said that my husband was a complete failure from the start, and he said he was irritating and wasn't very observant. You don't even listen to what others have to say. Don't you think my husband has surpassed you 100-fold? <laughs> Yuzuriha! What? It's the truth, is it not? Akamatsu, I was in the wrong for not telling you I changed jobs. I want you to apologize to my wife. All she's done is continue to support me. I want you to take back what you said about her being a money-grubbing wife. What? Akamatsu? You said something that awful about Katsura's wife? Ah, <laughs> jeez. <sighs> you still haven't changed since we were in school. Anyway, apologize to Katsura immediately. Uh, shut up! Going from dispatch worker to doctor? Yeah, when pigs fly! If it's that easy to become a doctor, then most of the doctors are quacks! All doctors are idiots! Akamatsu, you really don't listen to what other people say, do you? Huh? Didn't you hear what my wife's job is? The people I invited here, the majority of them work in a hospital. Hurry up and get out of here! Tarnishing Tsutsuji, Katsura, and the others' names, I won't stand for any more of it! <laughs> Shut up! We're leaving whether you say to or not! Hey, let's go, Yuri! Uh, I'm terribly sorry for all of this. We will come back another day to apologize. <sighs> Akamatsu-kun! Hey, next time you need to apologize to takusa san and the others! To do something so rude on their special occasion is just... Shut up! You're annoying! It was mainly your nagging that caused all this! <gasps> you gotta be kidding me! Go home by yourself! Yuri-san! Did Akamatsu go home without you? Yes. I'm really sorry my husband said those awful things. You don't have to apologize. But on such an important day, he... It's fine. Tokusa and Sasuji-san were actually worried about you. Yuri-san, let's have a chat if it's okay with you. I talked about you a bit with Akamatsu on the phone. There's a lot of things about him that just keep piling up, right? <gasps> I I'm sorry. I... It's okay. So then, I opened up to Katsura's son and Yuzuri's son about my married life. I have been suffering a lot more than I thought I was. And then... Hey, Yuri! Why did you come home after the wedding? I was staying at Katsura's son's house. What? <laughs> Don't play me, Yuri! You didn't even ask for my permission! And what was with your attitude yesterday? You caused me unnecessary embarrassment! Here! Thanks to yesterday, I finally made the decision. I want a divorce! Uh, what? And then, Akamatsu protested as I thought he would. It took some time, but we ended up getting a divorce. Of course, during that time, I went to apologize. So I visited Katsura-san and his wife, along with Tokusa-san and his wife. I'm really sorry about the other day. Don't worry about it. I'm terribly sorry. It's okay. Everyone was so kind to me. And they told me if I had any problems, I could come and talk with them. I started hanging out with Sasuji-san and Yasuri-san more. And Tokusa-san and Katsura-san cut ties with Akamatsu. Don't talk to us ever again! Seriously, why didn't I realize all this before marrying him? I've never regretted something so much. Hey, you got divorced, so it's fine. Exactly. You aren't in the wrong here. Oh, by the way, I have some good news for you. One of my husband's juniors is a really nice guy. Although, he's having a hard time since he hasn't had any dates. 
Look, this is Kuroki's son. I think he's perfect for you, so why don't you go out to eat with him? Huh? Well, isn't that great news? I, I just got divorced. The best way to heal the wounds from a man is with another one. We'll be cheering you on, Yuri-san. Oh, my! I suffered with my ex-husband for two years. If I would've known I'd be this worry-free, I would've gotten out of that marriage sooner. Things are looking up, and I decided to start a new life. <laughs> Damn it! ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。人間ですし、負の感情を出してしまうことはあると思います。でもずっと悪口を言って、他に話すことないんですかね。というか、結婚式という祝いな席で離婚だとかそういう発言はあまりにも非常識ですよね。そんな非常識な方と一緒にいても